Well, folks, as an official card-carrying comedian, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't have at least one thought about our current political scene. <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> Most disturbing to me is uh, our prudishness. When did we become so silly about, well, you can't drink, no gambling, no sex. What? What's going to happen there? I'll be honest, the irony to me is that I don't want a clean living guy in the White House with his finger on the button. He thinks he's going right to heaven. <laughs> you want to feel safe with a leader? Give me a guy who fights in bars and cheats on his wife. <laughs> this is a man who wants to put off Judgment Day as long as possible. Yes, <laughs> I know. Shouldn't kid about drinking. It's pretty dangerous. Some of you know that tonight. It is dangerous. A friend of mine had a little too much to drink the other night. Okay, it was me. <laughs> Why do we do it? Just pistol whip ourselves with liquor. It's, there are five levels of drinking. Six if you live in a trailer park. <laughs> but never mind that now. We will deal with five. See if these look familiar. Level one. Let's say it's 11 o'clock on a weeknight, you had a few beers, you get up to leave, because you have work the next day, when one of your friends buys another round. One of your unemployed friends. <laughs> but see, here at level one, you think to yourself, oh, come on now, why, as long as I get seven hours sleep, I'm cool. Level two, midnight, had a few more beers. You've just spent 20 minutes arguing against artificial turf. You get up to leave again, but at level two, a little devil appears on your shoulder. And now you're thinking, hey, hey, I'm out with my friends. <laughs> what am I working for anyway, huh? These are the good times. Besides, as long as I get five hours sleep, <laughs> I'm ghoul. Cool. Level three, one in the morning. You've abandoned beer for tequila. <laughs> You've just spent 20 minutes arguing for artificial turf. <laughs> now you're thinking, our waitress is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. <laughs> but see, at level three, you love the world. On the way to the bathroom, you buy a drink for the stranger at the end of the bar just because you like his face. You get drinking fantasies that, fellas, hey, fellas, if we all bought our own bar, we could live together forever. <laughs> we could do it, Tommy. You could cook. <laughs> yeah, but at level three, that devil is a little bit bigger. And he's buying. <laughs> and you're thinking, oh, come on now, well, silly. As long as I get three hours sleep... And a complete change of blood. <laughs> I'm cool. Level four, two in the morning. And the devil is bartending. <laughs> For last call, you ordered a bottle of rum and a Coke. You are artificial turf. <laughs> this time on your way to the bathroom, you punch the stranger at the end of the bar just because you don't like his face. <laughs> and now you're thinking, our bus boy is the best looking man I've ever seen. <laughs> You and your friends decide to leave right after you get thrown out. <laughs> and one of you knows an after-hours bar. And here, at level four, you actually think to yourself, well, well, as long as I'm only going to get a few hours sleep anyway, I might as well... Yeah. Stay up all night! <laughs> yeah, well, well that, that'd be good for me. Uh, I don't mind going to that board meeting looking like Keith Richards. 
Wow, turn that around, make it work for me. <laughs> oh, besides, as long as I get 31 hours sleep tomorrow... Level five. Five in the morning. <laughs> After unsuccessfully trying to get your money back at the tattoo parlor. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know anyone named Ruby. <laughs> you and a, your friends wind up across the state line in a bar filled with guys who have been in prison as recently as that morning. Place where even the devil is going, uh, I gotta turn in. Bye -bye. No, I, I gotta be in hell at nine. I got that brunch with Hitler, I can't miss that. Uh, you're all drinking some kind of thick blue liquor. It's usually used to clean combs. A waitress with fresh stitches in her head comes over. <laughs> and you're thinking, someday I'm gonna marry that girl. <laughs> Suddenly, one of your friends stands up and screams, we're driving to Florida! <laughs> and passes out. <laughs> you ever make one of those trips, by the way? I'll tell you, that ride back is mighty quiet. You want to quit that whistling? <laughs> you crawl outside for air and you hit the worst part of level five, the sun. <laughs> are you kidding me? You walk out of a bar in daylight and people are on their way to work or jogging. <laughs> and they look at you and they know. <laughs> and they say, who's Ruby? Look, folks, let's be honest. If you're 19 and you stay up all night, it's a victory. It's like you beat the night. You remember that feeling. Yeah, but if you're over 30, man, that sun is like God's flashlight. <laughs> we all say the same prayer then. Say it with me now. I swear... I will never do this again. How long? As long as I live. Some of us have that little addition, and this time, I mean it. The family just woke up from a two-